Firstly, I'm going to apologize for the sound. I haven't set up the external mic in the sound booth or even at my desk and it's got lots of reflective surfaces. The entire desk is pretty, pretty shiny. Um, I'm going to be showing you something very interesting. Missing clips and where to find them. <clears throat> now, this is more than a missing clips video and you'll understand why soon. There are several missing clips that I have located. You probably realize that I typed in the word missing to find the missing clips. And of course, there are some green found uh, linked files because the word missing shows up in these files in some way. Okay, now I've, I've just found the other files, but I'm about to do these ones. So there's four, five, six files that are missing. Now, what I was doing is um, I was going into my storage volume and I was actually going into my sound effects files and in the sound effects files I was looking for uh, all of these uh, sound effects for the film the movie that we're cutting which is how to disappear and never get found and uh, there's sound effects everywhere and I kind of was dragging the sound effects into the sound effects browser but true as anything that's not where the sound effects are being found we've just worked out that these sound effects are actually in iTunes uh, sorry, they're in the Final Cut Pro sound effects folder, they're in the iLife sound effects folder, and then they're in the iMovie sound effects folder. Now, how do you find all these sound effects? Because if you click on there, short of physically bringing all those sound effects in, there's really no point, right? There's really no point in doing that. So what I thought I'd do was I would actually look up, I would... Um, again, I would just take the missing links, right, missing uh, files, and I will go into relink files, and there they are. Those are the ones that are the final ones, and I go all. I go locate selected. Now, this is where you go into the applications area. You go to applications, and you look up. I've already done iMovie, so I'm not going to do iMovie anymore, but you can look up. Uh, I'm going to do Final Cut. I'm actually going to do Final Cut Pro. Because if I look in Final Cut Pro, I will find uh, I will find the sound effects out of Final Cut Pro. And um, why am I not finding Final Cut Pro? For some obscure reason, I'm not finding Final Cut Pro. Which is very odd, because obviously it is an application. Oh, there it is. And... Um, it's just the icon looks a little different to what it looks like on my other computer. So I go choose, and now what it'll do is it'll try to look for matching file names, and it'll find, I would probably say it'll find them all now, because it's come right out of uh, Final Cut Pro sound effects, these particular files. And, oh, hasn't found them, has not found them, but that's okay, because what we're gonna do is we're going to, um, we're gonna go in and we're gonna actually look Okay, so I've tried Final Cut Pro sound effects, but I'm going to go into iLife sound effects. I think that's the one that I'm going to go into. So what I do is I go back to reeling files, and again, I make sure it's all of them. I go locate selected, and I go to iLife, okay? Uh, so iLife is, is my only choice now. I've only got iLife left. So I'm hoping that iLife is actually an application it should be but for some obscure reason I'm not finding it uh, I wonder why I'm not finding iLife uh, you're probably laughing at me going oh it doesn't work it out it hasn't worked it out I'm going to oh, let's have a look maybe it's under Logic Pro you're probably going oh, I know where it is and he can't find it mm -hmm -hmm. well um iLife, it's definitely in iLife, wherever iLife is. So I'm trying to find out where that is. Um, I wonder where iLife sound effects would be. Hmm, very interesting. Okay, I am going to figure this out and recut this video. Apologies. Hmm.